today we are going to show you how to do background changes using a uh, AI photo app. Um, with the background changes, some things you got to note is you need the car and the background to be similar enough for it to work. For example, if you take a picture with reflections of trees on your car, you're not going to be able to put it inside of a building. If you take a picture of clouds reflecting off of your car, you can't make it into a nighttime photo. If your photos are very um, muted, where you're taking it with a lot of cloud covers, not much reflections on your car, that makes the background changes actually a lot easier because you have a lot more options. You don't have to stick with something similar. Along with doing the background changes, I also go in, I use Lightroom to do some color adjustments. Like for example, if I'm putting a car from outside to inside of a building, I can go to Lightroom, go to the blue color tab, and eliminate all the blue. And then sometimes I'll use an app called Lens Distortion and add a filter over it. And that adds the same color tone throughout the entire image, uh, whether it's both the background and the foreground being the car. So those are some things you want to do afterwards. But the cool part, the part we're going to show you today, is how to actually do the background change itself. We are going to be using an app today called Photo Room. It should be available both on iPhone and Android. Alright, so this is the first photo we're going to try. And we do have some reflections on there, so I'm not sure how we can do that. We could probably put in like an industrial area, I think. So, you click Instant Backgrounds, it'll, it'll give you some automatic ones. But what I think I have envisioned is going to be industrial area. And we can add as much details as we want on top of here. Let's put, in, instead of industrial area, let's try industrial building. You just play around, you just type in a whole bunch of things until you find something you like. I don't like AI vehicles in the background, they just look messy. So I think that looks good. We're going to go with that one. This card next. So when you click on it, it automatically scans, automatically takes the background out. If it takes too much out or not enough, you can adjust it by hitting this cutout tab. Instant background. And let's just see what it comes up with. Uh, I don't like these. Let's put a band on car. Lifts. Okay, this is not giving me what I want. Okay, let's try a car factory. Yeah, we're just going to do this one. We could add a filter or something on it afterwards. In fact, let's just do a filter now. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's do one more. Uh, let's do this car. I think for this car we can do on grass with beach in the background. I'm going to click create scene, create image. There we go, that looks good. I like that. So as you can see, really easy to do. Um, not a long video because it's not that hard to do. Uh, go play around with the app. Uh, it is seven day free trial, 10 bucks a month after that. Have fun with it. Um, not only you can do cars, but you can also do people too. Thank you for watching. Aloha. Peace out. Catch you in the next one.